There are less than 12 points separating the top two bull riders in the world, and Albuquerque could see a new leader crowned. Hi, I'm Crystal Matthews. J.B. Mooney sits on top of the world right now. He's riding 56% of his bulls and has held the top spot for weeks. But he's been struggling. He's 4 for his past 13 going back to Arlington and was 0 for 2 last weekend in Fresno. Renato Nunes, on the other hand, is on fire. He's posted four 90-pointers in a row. If this was baseball, he'd have a statue in the Hall of Fame. We should, for the record, point out that Nunes was not the first to post three 90-pointers in three rounds on a two-day weekend. Chris Shivers did it in 2001 in St. Louis. But as far as our stats team can tell, Nunes is the first to go four in a row since he had a 90-pointer one week earlier in Glendale. Nunes is coming off one of the biggest weekends in PBR history. He posted three 90-point rides in taking the Table Mountain Casino Invitational in Fresno and stuck a thumb in the eye of Team Brazil captain Adriano Marias, who left him off the World Cup roster. That may change, but as it stands now, the top-ranked Brazilian, the number two rider in the entire world, will not be competing at the World Cup. Nunes is clearly the hottest rider on the Built for Tough series, but last weekend in Fresno, he wasn't the only one to go three for three. Shane Proctor, the Washington State transplant living in North Carolina, was perfect on the weekend in Fresno, finishing just six points behind Nunes and moving from 10th to 6th in the world. He's under 900 points off the lead, and there are a potential 1,100 points available in Albuquerque. Ahead of him are Valderon de la Veda, who's out with a shoulder injury, Nunes and Austin Meyer, who had a terrible weekend in Fresno. He technically notched a 76 and a half on just Joe in the second round and was awarded a rewrite, but didn't make the whistle on Real Moody. Then there's Travis Briscoe, who's trying to shake his curse as Mr. January. Briscoe's a talented bull rider, but has spent the last two seasons as a high performer early in the season, only to drop off later on. He suffered from a dislocated rib lately and was 0 for 2 in Fresno. He's on record as saying he doesn't intend for history to repeat itself. And you can read more about that in the next issue of Pro Bull Rider Magazine. For now, though, the top seven spots in the world are in play this weekend in Albuquerque. This is a huge event. It's in the University of New Mexico's famed basketball arena, The Pit. And last year, the place sold out. There are three nights there this year, and all are nearly full. If you're in the beautiful American Southwest this weekend, get your tickets now. They may be gone if you wait to walk up to the box office. In the meantime, all eyes are on the World Cup coming up on April 16th. The Americans are going for a three-peat and can use all the support they can get. Go to unlvtickets.com to reserve your spot now before the seats are gone. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next week with a review of the highlights of the Ty Murray Invitational. I'm Crystal Matthews.